example, I just recently bought a new AR-15. Um, I got a pretty good deal on this. Got it for the whole setup from uh, for four hundred and eighty dollars around. It's a Diamondback Firearms DB15 model. Um, it was a good price, but there's some things on it that I on the uh, rifle itself that I'm not really happy with aesthetically. So I'm gonna thought I would do a video and go through a basic uh, customization on this AR-15 and show you what I, I'm doing to it. Um, upgrade wise, just basic. Uh, it's already a free floated barrel with a rail and a low profile gas tube. So that's already done. Um, but there are some things I'm going to change out like the, the, the stock and the, uh, in the grips and some other things. So I thought I'd make a video and go through that and, uh, swap these parts out, show you what I'm changing on it, what I like, what I don't like. Okay. So the first thing I'll do on this is just change the stock out. And to get the stock out, it's fairly simple. You just pull this lever right here back. And then just slide, it slides off like that. And then the new one, this is a Magpul CRT version and you just hit your thumb on that latch right there, and then there's a little button um, in here. And you just pull this button all the way down to get it to slide on. Let's see. And then it just goes on like that and locks in, locks into place. So that's that changed out. And the next thing I'll change on this is the grip right in here. And there's just like an Allen head screw down in there, just a single screw. And then to get that out, just twist that on there and then that should just come off and then there's your safety spring right here so you don't want to lose that spring right here and then there's your stock grip and I just have a hogue it's like rubber molded grip I'll just put that on there instead put that spring back in like that I just eyeball it to make sure it's going in correctly. Like that, that should be on there. Safety still works. Okay, the next thing I have is charging handle. It's kind of got more of a wing on the back end. You get a better grip than just the stock standard charging handles. Just take the bolt out. both going like that 
And then that's changed out. Okay. And then I have another rail. Because this rail is just, I don't know, I didn't really like the look of it. Let's swap that out. Oh, and then on that stock, there's like mil spec and commercial. And this one was a mil spec stock. So uh, I guess the difference with that is there's a slant cut in the commercial and with the, uh, in the end of the buffer tube. And with the mil spec, it's just straight. And then the, I believe the commercials, a wider diameter, but that was a mil spec stock. There's two different kinds. You have to check to see if your rifle's either mil spec or commercial. Just get one which one it will will fit. Otherwise, it won't fit, or it'll be sloppy. Okay. Change this rail out. the old one get this new one on and that just slides over it just slides the new one just slides over on there the good thing about these is they're it's already free floated, so this one was compatible. I don't have to relieve the barrels, barrel nut, replace it with another one or anything. And then to get this aligned, I just take a iron sight that I have. I just put that right where the upper receiver meets the rail, right on the Picatinny. And then just tighten that down over the two of them. So that way it'll kind of align it. Just using a flathead screwdriver to put this side on. I don't think any very good view. Just like that. Make sure that's all the way back. And then you, there's three bolts on the rail and you just tighten those down. that adjusted Do a little bit at each time and then move to the next one until they're till they're all snug okay there's the new rail on there and and I'll take this side off now that it's aligned And the trick to mounting iron sights is you want to get them as far back and as far forward as possible. So 
just to set this up to start, I'll just get it on the very rear back one. These are just cheap flip up sights I found. And that sight's on. And I'll put this one on the front. As far forward as I can get it. Just give these a little bit of it, just tie them down a little bit so nothing comes loose. Okay, and then I have a flash hider that I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna take the A2 birdcage off and just put a flash hider on there. Okay, so I don't have a vice but i don't believe i need one we'll find out there we go and thread the hunt a2 bird cage right there We'll take the old crush washer off. Okay, and here's a new crush washer. You can only use those once, and then you have to replace them with another. It just goes concave side down convex up on that. I'll get that threaded on there. Okay. Just tighten it down. And you really should use a gun vise for this, but I don't have that. should be on there so there it is to where it catches oh, it's still spinning on itself okay now it's good Beautiful.
That's pretty tight. Let's give it a turn, half a turn, quarter turn. Make sure it's on. All right, so here's the rifle in its completed form. I've got the vertical grip on it right here. Um, I just have iron sights on it because it's just primarily for home defense and short range. Um, the whole build came in at around like 690, um, so it wasn't too bad. And uh, you know, hopefully uh, I can do more of these videos in the future and maybe build one from the ground up and help anybody else out there that may be uh, you know, wanting to, but, uh, maybe it doesn't have the confidence level to try to do that themselves. Hopefully I can make more videos just showing that it's not that bad of a, it's not that hard to do them. So, uh, thank you. Like, and subscribe and, uh, we'll see you later.